What is the best cat tool? This is a question that I often ask myself and other people ask me, so let's take a look. My name's Mark, I'm a freelance translator, and if this video is useful for you, don't forget to subscribe. So ultimately, a cat tool is something that as a translator helps you to work more efficiently and more quickly and gives you a lot of savings in terms of time. So today we're going to look at four big names, the pluses, minuses, the costs involved, if there are costs, so that you can make the best decision about which one is right for you. The first one up on our list is Phrase TMS. This is one that used to be called Memsource, but it's just undergone a rebranding. You've probably used it already, to be honest. It's quite common uh, as an online tool with agencies, so you may have used it and not even realized, which is probably a big plus. Honestly, it's pretty easy to use. It's got a number of good functions, and I think that overall, it's one that is Mac compatible, which is quite rare. So. That's a good thing for you if you're a Mac user. In terms of minuses, it has a QA system that I would honestly describe as rancid. When you finish your job, in order to finish it, you have to tick manually to remove every QA warning. And I've had documents before, you know, where you're running an 8,000 word project where this process could take over an hour and it's extremely frustrating actually. So probably the big minus with this program. In terms of the prices, it comes in at quite a nice monthly subscription of $29 a month, so it's one to consider. On to number two, which is probably the biggest name on our list, and that is Trados. So in terms of plus points, and it'll be one that you've heard, I really like the way that you can use uh, the translation memory features and create your own terms. It's very, very easy to use. Um, and I would say overall my feel is that it's, yeah, very user-friendly. In terms of the minuses, there is no Mac version, which is a bit sad. So if you're a Mac user, you'll have to use Parallels to get it working. In terms of the license, if you want to pay annually, it's $639. Or, no, I lie actually. $639 is for the license. If you want to pay annually, it's $305. And unfortunately, as far as I know, there's no monthly option. So, Trados. Pretty standard, might be worth a go. The third tool we're gonna to look at and I'm gonna discuss with you is MemoQ. Now, I would say this is one that's very similar to Trados um, in terms of one that will work on your PC. It's theoretically 100% compatible. It does everything you've want. I've heard that it has very good customer support. You can call them up and resolve issues if there are any. And essentially, you know, there's not a lot of difference compared to Trados. It's very similar, it has its own files, file type that you can work with as well. That is possible that might be required by um, you know, a certain company that you're working with. The big minus is probably the pricing structure. With Trados, so there's probably a version that comes out every three years. If you skip a version of Trados, you can just do that. You don't have to pay for it. But with MemoQ, if you decide to upgrade after you've missed one of their upgrades, you have to pay for both pieces of software even though you haven't used them, which is a little bit of a strange system and it's one that you might not be too happy about. It comes in a limited free version that you can use, but you'll probably struggle to handle any projects with that. You're in use, it might work. Otherwise, the annual, um, the, sorry, the license is $770, so it might be worth a go. The fourth and last one on our list is SmartCat. Now, this is a tool that came out a few years ago, um, and it's one that works entirely online. Um, in terms of the pluses, it does most things. It has good compatibility, um, and the big thing that works, I think, and is really good about SmartCat is that it's completely free, so you don't have to pay for it. I think there are some features that you may have to pay for, uh, you know, if you're using it a lot. Um, I think there's a limit on the amount of machine translation that you can do without paying for, but that's pretty standard. In terms of the minuses, I think with SmartCat, there might be some data concerns. Um, there are some tools like the machine translation option you can use for free, but with the caveat that uh, SmartCat may be able to process and use your translations, which might not be so good in terms of data security. Um, and also, there are some things that it doesn't do very well. It doesn't handle big Trados packages well. It might work, it might not. I've had mixed results. And it can sometimes have a few minor issues that you wouldn't find with Trados uh, or MemoQ, for example. Uh, I've found that it has tag errors sometimes. It's a bit rare, but it can cause awkward issues with your project. But overall, SmartCat is available for free, which is really good. So, looking over those four and comparing, what do you think is the best? Well, ultimately, if you are a regular translator 
and you do want a cat tool to use day in and day out and you're not using a Mac, I'll probably go with Trados if you don't mind the, the cost. Ultimately, it's a really solid industry standard piece of piece of equipment and you know, I think it's a good option. Having said that, honestly, I would say that SmartCat is not far behind and you may find that the types of jobs that you do are really suitable and then in that case, well, you know, why pay that amount? Maybe give it a go with SmartCat. I think it really depends on your use. Uh, also, in terms of the, the, the costs, for both for MemoQ and Trados that I've mentioned, often you can find discounts. Uh, pros, you'll often find that they have something called a bulk buy uh, or group buy I think they call it where you know every three months they'll release a certain number of licenses um, that you can buy at a discount which might be a really good option um, and if you found this useful uh, don't forget to like and hopefully I'll see you soon for another video any questions at all just drop them in the comments and I'll get back to you have a great day